Hey everybody, and welcome back to Misfit Corner Scams. This is the Arsenal Andrew speaking, and it's time for another despicable scam call. I know everybody gets them. They're calls from people claiming to be from the police association, or firefighters, or veterans, or whatnot. And they're collecting money for a charity. Even though it's not a tax deductible, because it's not actually going to a charity. It's actually going to influence politicians in their legislation making. In other words, it's a slush fund for politicians. But uh, they tried something new this time. They actually had a third-party call center person call me first. Made sure I answered the phone and then said, let me transfer you to somebody else. Completely avoiding the national do not call list. Because you know what? I've been on it since 2004. And they still call. Even though I'm on it. But that's because the call center person most likely is not in the U.S. And isn't afraid of our laws. And does not care about our laws. So in other words, if you get a call like this, hang up on them or screw with them like I do or ask them some basic information like where does the money go why are you avoiding the national do not call list you sneaky sneaky pains in the butts enjoy the call hello yes, hi this is Robert I have an important message from the national police support fund hang on while I transfer you to a pre-recorded soundboard line okay okay sure okay hold on just stay on the line all right Hi, thanks so much for holding for me. This is Brian. How are you today? Oh, very good. That's good. The reason for the call, the National Police Support Fund having their fundraising drive to support legislators whose goal is to protect our police officers who risk their lives daily serving and protecting our communities. I just wanted to touch base and make sure the police officers could count on you. They can count on you, right? Did you just avoid calling somebody on the do not call list by having somebody else call for you and then transfer me to you? Is that what you just did? No. No? You're lying. Why would I trust you if you're going to lie to me about that? I'm sorry, can you say that again? Sure. I'm on the national do not call list, and I have been since 2004. Did you just bypass the do not call list by having somebody else call for you? Is that what you just did? You sneaky, sneaky bastard. Okay. Okay, goodbye. (laughs) That's all you can come back with, huh? Oh, you are despicable, young man. Despicable. You should be ashamed of yourself trying to take advantage of an elderly person like me. Despicable. But wow, they literally had somebody in some call center call me, somebody who's on the national do not call list, make sure I answered, and once I was on the line, say, I'm going to now transfer you to somebody who's going to pitch you for a uh, charitable donation, which, by the way, if you remember hearing them, it's for politicians, slush funds for politicians. It's not going to go to help the police officers. It's not going to go to help the firefighters or the veterans or whoever they're claiming to be calling for. It's going to line the pockets of politicians. Isn't that fantastic? When you get calls like this, just hang up on them or screw with them like I do. Hey everybody and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way. And we'll catch you all next time.